Assalamualaikum and hello. Today's science we are going to learn about food web. Now look at this picture. This is a picture of a vegetable farm. So let's identify the food chains in this habitat. Here you can see vegetable, goat, duck, chicken, caterpillar and snake. So here are the food chains that can be built based on the habitat in the vegetable farm. So you still remember about the food chain is the food relationship among living things. And the arrow here means eaten by. So there are five food chains we can build in the vegetable farm. Remember, we must start with plant in any food chain we want to build. So this is a food web. What is a food web? A food web is a combination of all the food chains that we built in the vegetable farm. So how to build a food web? So let me teach you how to build a food web. So here are the food chains from the vegetable farm just now. So you have to identify the animals that eat vegetable, which are duck, goat, chicken, and caterpillar. And then you have to identify what are the animals that eat duck, goat, chicken, and caterpillar. And then you draw all the arrows, which means eaten by. The vegetable is eaten by goat, chicken, caterpillar, and duck. And then the animal that eat goat, chicken, and duck is snake. Hmm, still don't understand? Let's try this one. Observe the pond habitat in the picture given. What are the living things that can be found in the habitat? Yes, there are water weed, tadpole, grasshopper, frog, big fish, small fish, snail, and stalks. Let's try to build food chains from this habitat. Wow, there are 8 food chains that can be built from the pond habitat. Make sure you have written down all the animals and the possible food chains from the pond habitat. Now, let's make a food web. First, we must start with plant, which is water weed. And then you draw arrows. What are the animals that eat water weed? Which are snail, tadpoles, small fish, and grasshopper. Now look back at the food chains in the pond habitat just now. I want you to identify the animals that eat snail, tadpoles, small fish, and grasshopper, which are stock, frog, and big fish. Then you write down the three animals, stock, frog, and big fish. Don't write more than one animal in a food web. For example, like small fish. Next, identify the animal that eat frog, big fish, and small fish, which is stock. A stock already written down. Finally, we draw all the arrows which is eaten by based on the food chains just now. So just look like this. You can put arrows, any arrows possible like this. And don't forget the big fish is eaten by stock. That's it. So here are example of a diagram of the food web. And this is the food web that you have built just now. So what is a food web? A food web is a combination of food chains in the habitat. It can be more than one food chains. In the food web, energy is also transferred from one living thing to another, like in situation 1. What will happen if all the fish die from poisoning? Is there any other animals will die too? No, because the other animals also have their own food sources. Be thankful. 
because in the food web, the relationship among these living things is still complete and interdependent. Now, let's predict the effects on other living things if all the vegetables in the farm were destroyed due to a flood what will happen to the animals okay we will discuss that in the next session okay so let's recall what you have learned today a food chain is the food relationship among living things a food web is a combination of food chains in the habitat Producers are living things that can make their own food by carrying out the process of photosynthesis. Consumers obtain energy from eating other living things, and the sun is the main source of energy in an ecosystem. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and listening. See you in the next lesson. Bye!